right, we're back with another. Why am I looking that way? The camera's over here. Another uh, revealed and stuff. Who got a new little background? Here as always. Why are you lagging? Joining me today here is. Hello everyone. I'm Kai, the advertising producer. We are ready to kick off this reveals and stuff. That's right. This is reveals and stuff, not be done stuff. Mm -hmm. I think we kind of surprised everyone when we sent the notice for this video. Absolutely. To explain how this video series will work going forward. I like the background. Our videos have included a monthly video and stuff, as well as special reveals and stuff broadcasts for Legends Festival anniversary campaigns. And why is this a big deal? Because we got the anniversary coming up soon. Why would I do anything crazy right now? Reveals and stuff. It better describe what the content. Like I know a saying day is coming up, but like that's never been a big deal. The user for players who are just getting started to understand what this show is all about. We've also changed the looks of the videos, like the background. The yeah, background is nice. We I like it a lot. Opportunity to spruce things up and make everything look sleek and stylish. Hey yo, hey yo, I know you're watching this reaction right now, but like, did you hit the thumbs up yet? Why didn't you hit the like button yet? How come? How come we didn't do that yet? The like button is free. Did you know the like button is free? On a new character coming in the second half of the 60 million users campaign and details regarding a new mode that's being released soon. Oh, that's right. You mentioned the 60 million. I'm excited for the replay feature. Bro, I've been wanting a replay feature for so long. power and the voice is his strong. Yes, his buff when an enemy activates a rising rush is really fearsome. He can automatically withstand a rising rush, which makes him very reliable. I and I love this Jira right now, which is so funny because I did not care about him in the beginning. He's so fun to play with. Not to mention Beerus, who was raised alongside Jiren is... I like the Beerus too. Mm -hmm. Very true. We haven't had a new Beerus in a while, and uh, his special move arts nullifies revive effects. So cool. Just an amazing ability. We've had characters with revive effects. He's so cool. Effects, such as destroying an enemy's Dragon Balls when the revive character is defeated. But this, this one is nullifying a revive. The summon that features Jiren and Beerus is still ongoing, so please hurry up and get them for yourself. Speaking of Beerus, he made his debut last month at the second annual Battle Hour, didn't he? Yes, there were two Legends-based programs in the Battle Hour. Legends Quiz Challenge and another showdown, which is where we made a surprise announcement about Beerus. You can watch any video content from Battle Hour via the video archive, so I highly encourage you all to check it out. And with that, let's head into our first segment. Let's play Full Power Battle. Oh yeah, let's see what this mode is about. We talked about the details of Full Power Battle last month, and we're just... I still don't understand it. It sounds like a glorified raid. Before that, we'd like to introduce this new game mode to all of you by playing it a little bit so you guys can have a bit of a better idea of what it's going to be like. Without further ado, let's get it up on the screen. Okay. All right, here it is. This is still in development, so all the text is still in Japanese. Please just bear with it for now. Okay. This is the battle prep screen. It's exciting to see a new screen, isn't it? Yes, it is. Across the middle, we have player one and buddy two through four. So in it's four players. Battle, you can control one character. That's the one labeled player. While the three buddy characters here are controlled by an AI, so you will need to choose a total of four battle members. Jiren so it's not it's not like a raid. And just like with hyperdimensional co-op, we plan to update the boss when the season changes. The bottom is the section for support members, right? Yes. I assume this is just like raid. Yeah, it is. Boost to your battle members. You need to select them for your character as well as for your buddies. Let's check out the actual party formation screen. By tapping the arrows at the top, you can switch between player and buddy party screens. Okay. At the top, there are deploy conditions for the player and each buddy. There are restrictions based on tag, episode, element, and so on when forming your parties. So, you must select characters that meet these restrictions for both your battle and support members. Hey, I'm gonna need to get your equipment up. I just need an A rank equipment, Toji. <clears throat> yes. In full power battle, each party has a party skill which varies based on that battle member's battle style, such as melee type, support type, and so on. I'm already confused. 
has different strengths when challenging a full power battle, so you gotta keep them in mind as you build your party. There's also the comrade slot when you're forming your party. To put it simply, your friends and guild members can set comrades that you can then select to help you in full power battle. Choosing comrades will power up your battle members even more, so don't forget about them. How do you set your own comrades? Well, let's go back to the battle prep screen. At the very top, there's a set comrades button, so you can set them from there. Be sure to set some for your friends to use. One last thing before we start. Uh, this is giving me Dokkan vibes the with the friend system. The screen. It's not like you have to use the character that's on the far left every time. So, go into battle with whomever you like. Alright, let's start. This really is oh, you're about to get jumped! It's so cool to see all four of them wind up like that. So it plays just like co-op. Your character, three buddies, and the boss. So does it basically play the same as call? You know what I don't like about this? I, I'm already seeing something that's going to bug me. Is you know when you do like a green card? And like you do the uh, uh, animation where you like power up or whatever. When all four of them start doing that back to back to back to back. Whenever they draw the green cards. That's going to like delay the fight too much. It'll be annoying. Like when you do it with your co-op buddy or in raids. It's not that big of a deal because it happens fast. But if you do green card, green card, green card. Green card, green card, green card. The interruptions between every single round. Uh, or every single attack will be annoying. Be sure to react as soon as you see the warning so that you can evade forward or backwards. And this is Ultra Burst, another new mechanic in full power battle. The characters are all firing off their main abilities, but pay attention to see, the See, see what I mean by the, all those delays? Below Jiren's health bar. If you don't deal enough damage to deplete the gauge before the countdown reaches zero, the boss will activate their Ultra Burst and unleash an incredibly powerful attack. So, you've got to keep attacking to stop that Ultra Burst from happening. The effects have already started showing up on screen, but this phase is also when your Link bonus will activate. <coughs> now, take a look at the strike arts at the bottom right of the screen. It's frosting. Yes, it is. So, let's use it. If you hit with this strike arts, it'll activate an all-out rush. Some red circles will pop up on the screen, and we've got to tap them with the correct timing. It's a powerful combination attack where every character jumps in to help. That works perfect. Yep. So, just now, Break appeared on screen, which means that, thanks to our all-out rush, we were able to stop the Ultra Burst. I see. So, an all-out rush is the one way to quickly stop an Ultra Burst. Exactly. You have to use all the power you've got to stop an Ultra Burst. So, it's important to take advantage of the all fighting too. Rush and Rising Rush Z. We'll just continue attacking with our buddies here and chip away at the boss's health. Here it comes again. Yes, Ultra Bursts aren't limited to just one time. Attack to stop the burst is being displayed on screen right now. I'm not a big fan. Let's go on the offensive again. I'm not uh, a big fan of it. Only because I... I'm not a big fan of, of co-op mode right now. Because to me, it feels like a chore. We have to rapidly tap button on the screen it's a battle of perseverance now when the tap <laughs> he's over, getting jumped will unleash a barrage of key blasts together to deal massive damage and now i think it's time to activate the rising rush z that we've been holding on to this isn't just a regular rising rush is it nope the rising rush in full power battle Ooh. is different to what everybody's used to we're in the, we're in the gogeta realm have to swipe in the direction of the it's kind of cool shown on screen the animation are so cool. Now, because this is a four-person rising rush, it's an even more intense attack than a normal rising rush. And in order to convey that intensity, we made it so that you blast your opponent through a dimension what do you guys think? wall and straight into another dimension. I mean, I know uh, everybody has their own opinion of what they like in these games. And I remember when when raids and stuff came out originally, I used to love them, but it became like a big chore. I don't even do like the raids anymore. Because they're too much of a chore. I'd rather just play PvP. As I'm sure you it's okay. From our update, it's almost complete, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You're right. We're currently making the final adjustments, but we're expecting to make a release in just a few more days. Please wait just a little bit longer, everybody. 
Now that we've finished introducing full power battle, how about we talk about a brand new character? Yes. Yeah, let's see this. Oh my god, well, who's it gonna be? No way. No way. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, Kaioken Goku, who fought against Jiren during the Universe Survival Saga in Dragon Ball Super, is coming to Legends as the second what? character that can be acquired from a summon. Following up on Super Gogeta from the end of last year, now we have Goku. Yes. Since this is Dragon Ball, we figured it was only right to release Goku next. It takes a bit of time and effort on the animations for an Ultra character, but we feel confident that you're going to enjoy the work we've provided. Let's see how he look in game. What? <laughs> it looks great. I didn't expect of all things to drop. Wait, so does that mean we're not going to get an Ultra for the anniversary? I mean, I guess. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, the animations for the key bus is amazing. Blue card. And hey, let me get the degenerate green card, though. I like how Vegeta just come, pops in just to get his ass beat. What is going over Oh, that's badass. So it's just a regular green card, like a power up. Okay. Ultimate. At least when I don't pull this, I won't feel as bad. Since I'm sure you're all curious. <laughs> Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Kaioken Goku is a powerful combo attacker. He has a unique gauge that builds up while he's charging key, and the speed at which it builds is much faster than Legends Limited Perfect Cells. Plus, he's able to charge it multiple times. By making use of the increased arts card draw speed he gets when he Ooh. enters the battlefield to start combos, and Charging key during or after these combos That's cool. to build his unique gauge, Goku can always be ready for any kind of counterattack. He restores his vanishing gauge when his unique gauge fills up to max capacity. And I like that he's yellow, because right now the team that I'm using, mostly, I have the Legends Limited Gogeta. On top of that, his blast arts can destroy special move arts cards which can prevent Goku from being comboed by an enemy's special arts after a cover change. As you can tell, he's a truly powerful character with the power up of the universal survival. So I can put him on my team like in replacement of Daigo Jita. If I pull him, of course. I'm sure you can build a whole new party that will blow away the PvP environment. And that's all the new I will only play with this card if he's like snapped cuz Gogeta is stupid. Told you about today. I just wanted to let Ultra Gogeta is just dumb. Something fun for people to enjoy this April so please be on the lookout for that yes indeed we hope you also enjoy the new full power battle mode and the new ultra rarity character super saiyan go super saiyan kaioken goku am i excited i don't know if i'm excited <laughs> i just i don't, I don't really care <laughs> this new and improved reviews and stuff from now on mm -hmm. i hope you all enjoyed this new look i hope to see all of you guys again okay the new reveals and stuff Bye, guys. Cool. Bye.